dog from either a situation if the cat was abandoned or a dog from a local pound or out of state, their happy ending is not with dogs. Their happy ending is when they right. finally get to their their yeah. forever home. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So um, if someone wants to volunteer at the shelter, let's say they're an animal lover and they're watching the show, what would they do to get involved? We do have a volunteer application okay. and we would ask that they come to, we have an orientation every third Monday of the month. Okay. And we'd ask they come to the, to come to the orientation and have a, hear a brief overview of the organization because we're, we are pretty big and we have different areas that people can volunteer in. Some people might come in and want, want to work with the cat program, some might want to work with the dog program, mm -hmm. but we ask that you give us an hour to find out about what the organization's all about as a whole. Okay, and so they can volunteer with the kind of animal that they want to volunteer for and then I'm sure there's flexibility in terms of when and what they would do. Absolutely, especially, well, for the open house, that's when people would get to yeah. um, work with potential adopters or socialize the animals, but we have so many different volunteer needs that don't need to, that don't necessarily need to be done in the shelter. Most of the marketing, especially the grant writing, that's something that somebody can do mm -hmm. from home. That's great. Now, I know a couple of years ago, I was um, the Girl Scout leader for my daughter's Girl Scout troop, and I was also teaching her religious, religious education class, and it just so happened the same year, both of those groups wanted to donate to dogs. So in one case, the girls made blankets for the cats. In another case, um, they did a fundraiser where they just had everybody, you know, a church bring in different products. And we had a, I packed up my car and we brought a whole bunch of different goods over. If somebody else was watching, wanted to, whether donate food, or toys or, 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 or contribute in some way, what, how, what would they do? I would, I would love for them to go on our website and check out our wish list. Okay. And it, 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 things that we use on an everyday basis, that if it's supplied by the drives that you're, that you're talking about, mm -hmm. then it saves the organization money from having to go out and buy canned cat food or, yeah. or bleach or paper towels or, or the, just the basic supplies that you know we might take for granted that we need to run the facility every Yeah, day. if somebody doesn't have to write a check, but if like, they're the grocery store and they wanted to pick up extra cans or something, you know, they could they could do that. But it's best to go on the website to see what the list is. Yes. Okay. I and mean, we actually even need things like gas cards. Now you would think, why would we need a gas card? We need gas cards so that we can pay for the transports to actually go and rescue the the, the animals Makes from sense. from out of state. Wouldn't have thought of that. There, yeah. Yeah, there are great. so many different things. So we've got another minute. So What's kind of your your vision for war, where the organization's headed, and you know what you what you want to do? Well, last year, actually in 2008, we had established the organization's first vision statement to match our our mission statement, and our mission statement basically uh, dictates what we do on a on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. But the vision set forth where we wanted to be in 10 years, and we keep working different milestones. We'd we'd like to be the regional leader and resource for the for the community for the Greater Danbury area, so they know if they want to add a companion to their family to come to Dawes first and then also be able to provide, as you were saying, in, with your, your daughter's Girl Scout troop, yeah. we want to be able to provide formal education so that we can let people know that there are so many animals that are going, that are being euthanized all over the country, mm -hmm. that it's important to adopt from a shelter, especially a, a shelter like Dawes, a no-kill shelter, because for every adoption, we're actually saving two lives. You're saving the life of the animal you adopted, and that frees up space for us to rescue or, or take in another surrender. That's incredible. You're doing such good work. Thank you, and thank, thank you for you. coming on the show. We appreciate it. Thank you so now, much. Now, if somebody wanted to contact you, just give the website really quick. www.dawes.org. Dawes, D-A-W-S. Yes. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Susan Chainer with Community Forum. Until next time, thank you for joining us.